Hi there, welcome to this first live video session in English. In Dutch, I have done this many times, but I'm so excited to do this for the first time live in English. And today's topic, why manifesting union with your twin flame is easy. I believe wholeheartedly that manifesting union with your twin flame is easy. I've done it. I've seen it, so I know it's doable. And you can manifest union with your twin flame as well. Why this is possible and how it can also be easy for you, I will explain in this live session. You can also ask me questions or just say hi. So, yeah, nice you're here. Some people believe they can mess. They can manifest anything they want, except for a relationship with their twin flame. I do understand where this is coming from. There is so much fear that you cannot get together with your twin flame. And in order to protect oneself from disappointments, people can convince themselves that this is actually true. By the way, at the end of the video, I will give you some powerful affirmations that might help you right now to create your union. You can start creating your union today. If that's your true desire, then you're welcome to this channel. Affirmations are a powerful tool to shift your mindset and focus your energy on your desires. Your body, mind and soul are connected. So if you shift your mindset and focus your energy on what you truly desire, this does influence your twin soul connection. Body, mind and soul are connected. You share the same consciousness. You share the same soul. So of course you can manifest union with your twin flame. In my opinion, if you think it's not possible, it's still a limiting and fear-based belief. Why would you be able to manifest everything except for that only one thing that you truly desire? I think it's time to release old-fashioned beliefs based on fear and welcome new loving thoughts. You are a manifester anyway, and you can manifest everything. So, of course, you can manifest a relationship with your soulmate and naturally with your twin flame. If you get rid of your fears, manifesting union is the easiest thing to manifest. Trust me, afterwards you will say it. It was the easiest thing I ever manifested. Because you and your twin flame share the same consciousness and you share the same soul. Your twin soul is your mirror soul and your twin flame will mirror everything back to you immediately. That's why you can change your connection today. So if you think you've messed up, I often get this question, I messed up with my twin flame. Help. Don't you worry, you will always get a second chance with your twin flame with your beloved twin flame. And uh, there are a lot of people live. Anna, Asnif, Sophie, Priscilla, Lieke. Wow, Erika, it's so nice that you're all here. Welcome to this live session and we are live. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to see you all here. As a human being, you have the power to control your own thoughts. This makes us all manifestors. We are free to think whatever we want. Our thoughts create our reality and we are free to manifest whatever we desire. This is free will. I think we are here on earth to discover and to explore the power of our awareness. You can read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle if you're interested to this topic. It doesn't matter 
what type of mindset you have right now because you can change a negative mindset into a positive mindset quickly. You are only responsible for your own thoughts and you can start creating your union with your twin flame today. Maybe you already started, so you're on the way. You are not hurting your twin flame by manifesting your union. Some people think, think this is true, but of course, it has also nothing to do with manipulation. You are only thinking positively about the future of you and your twin soul. And it's not a crime to think happy thoughts. Affirmations always work. Unless you have opposite thoughts and feelings while you are affirming. Some people tried to manifest their twin flame, but without success. They even got opposite results while affirming. That's why they might believe that affirming doesn't work. Affirmations do work. But they cannot do their proper work if you still have doubts and fears. For instance, if you affirm, my twin flame and I are in union, he loves me so much, or she loves me so much, and he chose me. But suppose you think and feel at the same time that what you are affirming is not true at all. Suppose you really think and feel um, we are not in touch. We are even not in touch with each other. So what I am affirming is not true. And maybe you think that if I send my twin flame a message, he doesn't even answer me. And now I feel alone and I feel neglected. I feel put aside for later. In this case, your actual affirmations are, my twin flame and I are not in contact. My twin flame doesn't answer my messages. I feel alone and neglected. And guess what? If this is your actual dominant belief, then your situation will get worse and you can even manifest the opposite. But there's hope. And Lika says, if you are focused on shifting through positive affirmations inside and becoming more and more the best version of yourself and do nothing in 3D, he will come to me without action. Yes, your twin flame will come to you without any action. Um, when I was in separation with my twin flame, we were not even in contact. We didn't have contact at all. I only visualized and affirmed that we would have a wonderful Christmas this year. That's the only thing I, I've done. And um, it happened. And that's four years ago. So you're not going to visit your twin flame and trying to manipulate your twin flame and saying, hey, here you are. You have to choose me because I need you or something like that. So you don't have to... To, to watch his social media, I recommend you not to do that. Only stay true to your true desires. Because this is a connection with yourself. Your twin flame and you are the same. So if you stay true to yourself and if you put yourself first and make your life meaningful and make your life happy, then your twin flame makes you a priority and your twin flame wants to be with you. So you don't have to, um, to take any action in 3D towards your twin flame. But you can do some inspired action, like if your twin flame is mess messaging you, <laughs> of course, you send a message back with union energy or um, if your twin flame wants to meet you, of course, you're going to meet your twin flame. And if you even uh, feel inspired to send your twin flame a message, of course, you can send your twin flame a message. But then it's not out of fear, but out of love, out of love. And uh, you assume that your twin flame is so happy to hear fr from you and uh, will send you a message back uh, within five minutes. 
And Lakshmi says hi. Hi, Lakshmi. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to this first live video in English where I explain why it is why it is easy to manifest your twin fling union. If you are one of those people who tried to use affirmations, but they haven't worked yet, you should resolve the opposite negative thoughts and feelings. You shouldn't throw the baby out with the bath bathwater. In Dutch, we say you moet niet het kind met het badwater weggooien. So you, sh you shouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Get rid of your fears, negative thoughts and doubts, and don't get rid of your affirmations and your power to manifest your true love and anything else you desire to manifest in life. I recommend you not to focus only on your twin flame or your soulmate or your specific person. I Because then you put your twin flame on a pedestal and you're not on the pedestal then. So I recommend you to affirm for several things in your life. So now let me give you three very powerful affirmations. I have put myriad affirmations in my book, How to Unite with Your Twin Flame. There are countless affirmations. This is the first book that really helps, helps twin souls to unite. The affirmations already helped many twin flames in the Netherlands and Belgium. That's the reason why we want to make it known to the rest of the world now. Because it is my mis mission to contrib contribute to as many twin soul unions as possible. And I, don't, and I don't only want to spread unconditional love into, in the world, but also abundance. Live your soul mission in abundance. The other day, I got a message that my teachings are even translated into Kazakhs. So I send my greetings to all the twin souls in Kazakhstan and to everywhere else you are in the world. Maybe you're here very close to me. Maybe you're in Amsterdam. I really would like, I really would like it if you put your affirmation or something else you would like to share with us in your own language below the video. So not in the live chat, but below the video. Um, and also mention where you're coming from. Because I really like the international vibes of this channel, because then it really feels like spreading unconditional love and abundance into the world. And uh, then Priscilla says, well, my twin flame is coming and going. Yes, that's true, because... Um, you can you can manifest partial uh, partial manifestations. I will explain this in a moment. And then Lakshmi says this process of ascending is so confusing. It is a real to is it a real twin, or is it my stubbornness? <laughs> no, you're not stubborn. You're just really feel this unconditional love for your twin flame. So in the beginning, I also thought that. I must be crazy, but you're not, and you're not stubborn. You're just met. You've just met your twin flame. Before I got all these signs, I was a true manifester. I never had any trouble in that. But when I met my twin flame, yeah, the dark night of the soul, I went through that. Yeah, of course, I also we all all. On this channel, we all went through the dark night of the soul, but there's light at the end of the tunnel, so don't you worry. And I'm unable to manifest, yeah. And I used so many techniques, yeah. Yeah, I think maybe because people make their twin flame very important and then you really, 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 really want to get into union with your twin. So, oh, please, 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 I really want to get into union. Give me the best technique. And the only the only vibration you are expressing to the universe is, I am lacking my twin flame. So give me more lack. Give me more uh, feelings of missing my twin flame so incredibly. 
So it's not that um, affirmations don't work or visualizations or manifest in your twin flame, but it's the fear that's lying underneath it. That's the reason why it didn't work yet. And some people, they think I can manifest anything except for money or I can manifest anything except for my health. And there are people like us and they think, oh, I can manifest anything except for my twin flame. But you can, you can manifest anything and especially your twin flame union. Because if you have the thought, well, my twin flame will send me a message today and you you express this from decisiveness from um, with your with your heart and your soul, then your twin flame will message you today. This morning I spoke to one of my students and she said, well, my twin flame will message me today. And they didn't have any contact for the last one and a half year. And he said he did send her a message. He did send her a message. So. But she did had opposites, uh, opposites, um, opposite thoughts and feelings. She thought. If my twin flame comes back to me, then he will run away again. So he messaged her. He came to her. They had a really fun night. And then she thought, well, when will he leave again? So the only thing your twin flame can do, your mirror soul, is leave you again. And then you're like, hey, I'm manifesting hot and cold behavior. How is it possible? But... Really be honest to yourself. And did you have opposite thoughts and beliefs? If you affirm while you still have blockages, you can create partial manifestation and not your happy, harmonious union. For instance, you manifest messages or dates with your twin flame. But then your twin flame tells you that he's not ready for a commitment right now. Is it possible that you keep repeating the old story? Maybe you are still feeling hurt because your twin flame once left you. And then you might be, or maybe in the past, your father or your mother left you, or maybe another special person left you. And it is possible that you are repeating the old story because human beings always repeat old stories unless they decide to end it and to to choose something new and you have the right to choose new things that you would like to experience and maybe it turned out not the re- the thing you really desired then you always can make a new choice but i guarantee you Union with your twin flame will feel very fulfilling because you are meant to be together and your twin flame will not disappoint you once you are in union. Because you manifested your twin flame out of love and then you also will get love. If you manifest things without, with, with emptiness, then it's not fulfilling. It will, will give you an empty, an empty feeling afterwards and you're not satisfied with your manifestation. But if you manifest things out of love, then you will be very happy with your manifestation. So um, you, get, you also get partial manifestations if you affirm from the middle and not from the end results. So for instance, if you affirm for a message from your twin flame, I recommend you to affirm from the end result. Because some people, they are manifesting like, oh, I'm so happy and grateful. I get a like on my social media for my twin flame. And then they get a like and they are so happy because they they received a like on their social media page but in the same in the same breath they also say that their twin flame is still with a third party so why would you manifest likes on social media i don't think uh, my twin flame 
give me likes on social media, maybe maybe once in a while, but he's not a real social media guy. So it's not important for your union that your twin soul gives you a like on social media. What is important that you two are in a healthy and happy relationship. So if you would like to manifest a happy relationship with your twin flame and maybe travel around the world together, that should be your end result. So affirm from the end result and not from the middle. You can do it, but then you then there is a possibility that you get partial manifestations. You get hot, hot and cold behavior. So the three affirmations are... And before we start, I first ask you to slowly breathe in and out. Breathe in through your nose. And out. Relax your body. Because you always affirm while you are relaxed. See your twin flame in front of you. And hear your twin flame say... I really love you. I want to be in a relationship with you because you mean the world to me. I want to share my life with you. After that, hear yourself answering something like, oh yes, I want the same. And this should be feel natural to you. The more natural this feels, the sooner your manifest, manifestation will come true. Then you affirm, my twin flame wants to see me. He or she, or mention his name, wants to be in a relationship with me. My twin flame wants to share his or her life with me. So again. Repeat after me if you want to do the exercise. My twin flame wants to see me. He or she wants to be in a relationship with me. My twin flame wants to share his or her life with me. You can even imagine telling the affirmations to a friend or a family member. Sometimes this can help you to make it more believable for yourself. So you can say, hey, mm -hmm, guess what? My twin flame wants to see me. He or she wants to be in a relationship with me. My twin flame wants to share his or her life with me. And I know how it feels. The other day, my twin flame gave me this three-color ring. So I was expressing things like, oh, it means infinity. And he said, well, ju I just like the colors. So it's really funny. So, um, so now I, I don't only feel uh, my twin flame in my heart. I all, also feel this tangible thing around my fingers and it makes me so happy. So... And then Luxby said, well, thank you. I got connecting the dots. So that's great. And then I still love my twin flame, but I have been recently married. I don't know what to do. Oh, then I would recommend you to follow our course. The first chapter, the first module is for free in English. It's called Balance. Balance your twin flame connection. It will be available soon. And there we teach you how to, to build a foundation for your twin flame relationship, if that's what you desire, of course. If, if, you, if you choose otherwise, if you choose to stay in your marriage, then the course How to Unite with Your Twin Soul is not a good course for you. Or maybe later. And Dominique says, uh, this resoneert so nu. And uh, so she says, it's really resonating with me, uh, just repeating and persisting my affirmations that we are together every week. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're making so much progress. I'm proud of you. 
is there a re reawakening stage before entering the fifth dimension? What do you mean by that? Because I always um, visualize in 5D, in the fifth dimension, what I would like to experience in 3D. So, but I do think that the whole twin flame journey is um, about learning um, how to use your power of awareness. So you will awaken after you've met your twin flame. And therefore you learn to, yeah, to create your new reality in 3D while you are um, first creating it, creating it in the fifth dimension. I hope this is an answer to your question. What if you affirm and it feels so peaceful and then I feel something in my stomach, nerves? Yeah, then there still is something. There's still something missing. You know, there's still something that's worrying you. You could use the trusty oil. I use today the boosty oil because it's in the late afternoon. I always use the boosty. Uh, to give me a boost and um and but you could use the trusty oil for that with 100 uh, gera geranium congratulations gorgeous thank you thank you uh nice thank you for the exercise um twin flame is yeah if your twin flame is your soul why would you need to focus on them isn't that pushing the energy? No, your twin soul and you are one. And you can also focus on yourself. So you can also focus on self-love affirmations. For instance, if I feel myself really ugly, then I can focus on feeling more beautiful. So I could say to myself, well, from now on, every day I, I am feeling more beautiful. From now on, every day, uh, my eyes are more shiny. And uh, you will encounter things that will help you sh to shine more, to shine more from within. So you are allowed to focus on yourself and to put yourself first. And automatically you also focus on your relationship with your twin flame because you and your twin flame are one. And if you and your twin flame would like to move to another country, then you focus on, okay, where do we want to live? Or if you've chosen that you want to go to live with your twin flame in New York, you're looking for, for apartments in New York. So you are always focusing on something you desire. So that's not pushing the energy. Pushing the energy would mm, feel like, okay, my twin flame just told me that he doesn't want to have contact. But I keep sending him messages like, yeah, I don't understand. You know, I'm your twin soul. Why on earth would you not want to be in contact with me? You know, I cannot live without you. You know, please call me. Why do you do Why do you do this? You know, that's pushing the energy. That's pushing the energy. So if you are feeling very peaceful, and I will give you a tip if you have a little bit uh, a, a, slight problems to manifest your twin flame. I have a tip for you. So if manifesting and affirming your twin flame is too hard for you right now, because you think you're fooling yourself or you're pushing the energy, then just start with saying to yourself some lovely words. While expressing those words, and seeing related romantic images. So you can use words like contact, relationship, and sharing our lives together. Because if you come from two different continents, you and your twin flame, and you will express the word sharing our lives together, 
you will probably see an airplane and you and your twin flame are flying uh, between the one, one country to the other country. But in my situation, if I am thinking about sharing our lives together, then I would, then I see a boat. And I see us drinking coffee early in the morning. When I wake up, my twin flame always has a big smile on his face. And it fills my whole heart. And I'm so happy that he's there. I always say to him, I'm so happy that you exist. I'm so happy you're here. And um, yeah, I see us drinking coffee early in the morning and the sun comes up. And um, yeah, yeah, we're just enjoying it. And we are relaxed. So that's the image that I have with um, the word sharing our lives together. So there's no resistance. There's no resistance to that. Um, you can also use sentence li sentences like, I love the thought of being together with my twin flame. So that's not pushing the energy. You're just loving the thought of being together. So, well, that would be nice if we could share our lives together. And you can, of course, say, well, it doesn't matter to me if we won't be together or will be together. But then the universe can give you, maybe you will get together or maybe you won't get together. In any case, you're happy. Yeah, so there's no, no guarantee because you say, okay, maybe I will compromise. And then you get situations um, where, you can, where you can compromise or not. So, and I told myself, I'm not compromising. I'm not compromising. I only want an unconditional, unconditional loving relationship with my twin flame and I'm not compromising and I really love the thought to spend Christmas together and I also would love the thought how nice that would be with um, the whole family and the whole family were, was there and I really enjoyed it I think it was the nicest Christmas ever yeah yeah, so you can love the thought. You can also say, I am open to receive my union. So that's not pushing the energy. I am, I'm open. So I'm not pushing. I'm not going there. I'm not going to chase. I am here in my lovely home, wherever you are, or maybe you're in nature and you're just, you're just sitting or walking and you say, well, I am open to receive my union. I am, a, I am in the receiving mode. I am open to receive my union. I am deserving my twin flame union. You can also use that sentence. I am deserving my twin flame union. So I hope this will help you to, yeah, to, um, to get started. And you can also try to affirm for other things. And while you are making progress, you can start by, you know what I always like to affirm? I always like to affirm a kiss from, from my twin flame. This is my twin flame and I. And I always uh, affirming uh, a kiss. And how I do this, I just hold my telephone right here. Or if I don't have my telephone there, I just see my telephone and I see a kiss, an X. And um, then I'm going to continue with whatever I was doing. And then five minutes later, or maybe one hour later, then I receive the X. And um, yeah, that's the way of communicating, of our communication during the day. So you can also start with small things, but always keep the end in mind. <laughs> Not only focus on the small things, because then you get um, partial manifestations and hot and cold behavior of your twin flame. Okay, and uh, then Anne says, I see us hand in hand walking. Yeah, and I see him cooking for us in our kitchen. 
oh yes, the divine masculine will cook for you. And he will spoil you all the time. Because a lot of twin flames, they are very caring. They are very nurturing. And uh, I always hear that from my clients who are in union. And here someone says, well, congratulations uh, with the rapid growth on your channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, it, it, never, it never has grown so fast as it is right now. I think it's because of the English language. So I'm really happy that you're still here. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Yes, so start using affirmations. And your affirmations will work even better and faster if you also have images. But it's if you can do it with decisiveness and from your heart and if you, as if you already have the desire. So again, do it with decisiveness from your heart as if you already have your desire. So if you are already in union, you're not lacking anything. And then you will get your union the fastest way as possible in the most beautiful way. But in the end, it's not only about the affirmations. It is really about what they represent. Like your energy and your state of mind. You attract your energy, your vibration, and your state of mind. It is about knowing with your heart and soul that your twin flame really loves you and that your twin flame chose you and will stay with you forever. So you can say, my twin flame chose me and he just said he wants to stay with me forever because I mean the world to him or to her. It's very important to know that while affirmations can be very helpful, they are just one part of the complete manifestation process of your twin flame union. You can also use visualizations. They are very helpful just before you're going to sleep. Always visualize the end if you want to, to get your union faster. Because Twin Soul School is not about... is manifest your twin flame union it's manifesting in the fastest and easiest way and most beautiful way um, you can use happy writing and you can use revising a lot of things i have learned from neville goddard you can read his book um, these are manifest manifesting tools that help you to create your union fast and easy. So if you only affirm just a couple of times, we are in union, we are in union, this probably won't get you into union with your twin flame. And then maybe you throw the, the baby with the bathwater. That would be a shame. Besides that, that it's also important to improve your self-love to make your life meaningful and wonderful. Maybe you can leave, live, start to live your soul mission. Um, it's important to heal your past and to take only inspired action towards your end goals. This is exactly the combination that we teach in Twinsel School. The book also contains the complete method of affirmations, self-love exercises, tips and healing and explanations how to communicate with your twin soul because a twin soul connection works differently than another relationship. So if you would like to read the first chapter of the book in English, stay tuned. It will be available for free soon. In Dutch, it is already available for free. And in Dutch, you can all also order the book. Uh, some people call it the Twin Flame, their Twin Flame Bible. And um, yeah, I think it's very helpful to read the book, do the course, and um, then it will, then a lot of unions will arise. My twin flame just comes home, is just coming home. So I have to, to end this video. The last thing I want to say, if you don't want to wait for the English course, you can already book a twin soul coach and you can have a talk with one of them 
and it's a 30 minute talk and it's with a coach who is already in union and you will receive affirmations for you based on your personal story of you and your twin flame. So if you cannot figure out the affirmations by yourself, um, then you can always ask us. Thank you so much to you all for being live with me here today. Uh, for, to me, it was really inspiring to have you all here live and send you all my love. Bye-bye. <laughs>